What's up guys, my name is Joe, and welcome to episode 3 of DaVinci Resolve Tips, Tricks, and Shortcuts. Did you know that your DaVinci Resolve install comes with a 3000 page reference manual? It's located in your install directory, which for me is C Drive, Program Files, Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve, Documents, and DaVinci Resolve.pdf. To create a freeze frame like this, it was at this moment that he knew. He ranked up. Zoom in a little bit. Hit B for your blade tool, cut the beginning, hit the right arrow key to go forward one frame, and cut again. Move the rest of your clip out of the way. Then, right click your frame, go to change clip speed, tick freeze frame, and click change. Right click your frame again, go to change clip duration, and change that to whatever you'd like. Normally, the scroll wheel on your mouse moves your timeline up and down, but you can scroll left and right by going to View and unticking Enable 2D Timeline Scroll. To make your footage black and white, go over to the Fusion tab, hit Control Space for your search tools, search for Brightness and Contrast, hold Shift and drag it between your Media In and Media Out, and drag the Saturation slider to zero. To quickly stabilize footage, Go to the inspector panel and scroll down to stabilization. According to page 817 in the reference manual, perspective enables perspective, pan, tilt, zoom, and rotation analysis. Similarity enables pan, tilt, zoom, and rotation analysis. Translation enables pan and tilt analysis. The stabilization toggle is the red switch next to the word stabilization in the inspector panel. This allows you to turn on and off stabilization. Camera lock is mostly used for still shots and zoom allows Resolve to automatically crop your shot to get rid of the black bars that appears once it stabilizes your shot. In short, translation for light stabilization, similarity for medium stabilization, and perspective for heavy stabilization. Here's a before and after shot using the default settings and the perspective mode. Alright guys, that'll do it for episode 3 of DaVinci Resolve Tips, Tricks, and Shortcuts. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions. If you enjoyed, please drop a like and consider subscribing. It really helps the channel. My name is Joe, and I'll see you in the next one.